Good morning, future Mustangs. My name is Sarah smith Perriard, and I am the manager of the Bachelor of Medical Sciences Undergraduate Education Program, or as we call it, the BMSUE. I would like to start today by welcoming you to our virtual Fall Preview Day. This is the first time Fall Preview Day has been offered virtually at Western, and we are so excited that you can be joining us from the comfort of your home from every area of the world. Within this session, we will be sharing information with you that we feel is important for you to know, not only about our programs, but also about the paths that are available to you. Now, there is a lot of information, so please just sit back and enjoy the day. All of our Fall Preview Day presentations have either been pre-recorded or are being recorded today and will be available to you on our Fall Preview Day webpage located on the BMSC website in about a week. So please check back then to see our videos again. Hello everyone, I'm Kathy Boone. I work with Sarah in the BMSUE office and I'm the coordinator of BMSUE. I support the medical science departments and the BMSC and neuroscience programs. As Sarah was saying, we're going to share some information with you today about science and medical sciences. And I have to let you know that it was a daunting task to take everything that we want you to know and scale it back to a 15 minute presentation. There's a lot more that we that you need to know, um, but we only have so much time today. So please do use that chat function, uh, put in some questions and we'll address those in our Q&A session. For the rest of this presentation, I am going to uh, close off my video because I'm going to be doing the slides behind the scenes and it's just easier for me. So I'm going to share my screen and then Sarah's going to take it away. So I'm an alumnus of Western and I know that I had so many questions before applying and I'm guessing that you do too. You might be thinking about studying computer science or maybe neuroscience at Western and wondering what courses and marks do I need in high school to be admitted? What program do I apply to? Science or medical sciences? And if I apply, when will I know if I have been accepted? These are all very important questions and our goal is to give you a tutorial about the degrees and modules that Western offers, how you apply to them, and maybe some things to think about along the way. Now, as Kathy's already mentioned, if you have questions during our presentation, please pop these into the chat feature and we will be gathering them as we go along. We will answer as many as we can in the Q&A session directly following this session. So let's jump right in and let you know that Western offers three types of degrees, three-year degrees, four-year degrees, and honors degrees. All of them are made up of the same basic components, the five courses of first year, a module or two modules that you'll take after first year, and some options or elective courses. A three-year degree is made up of 15 credits, with five courses usually taken each year. A four-year degree and a four-year honors degree are made up of 20 credits. So other than the number of credits, what differentiates these degrees? Well, there may be differences in the courses that you take and the marks that you need, but perhaps the biggest difference between the types of degrees is the module that you'll take. So then the question is, well, what is a module? The short answer, a module is a group of specific courses that is completed after first year and the module portion of each degree is basically the guts of the degree. So let's explore the different modules that Western offers. We offer four kinds of modules at Western, minor, major, specialization and honors specialization. And as a rule of thumb, the four courses in the minor will introduce you to a subject area. If you complete a six credit major, then you're going to have a greater understanding of that subject area and that uh, sub understanding becomes even deeper if you complete either a specialization or an honors specialization module. Although the specialization and honors specialization modules require a similar number of courses, in the honors specialization module, the courses that you need have to be completed with higher marks. There are also maybe some more advanced level courses and there's often a special course in year four that caps off your academics at Western. So broad picture here, we've got degrees and we've got modules, but how do they fit together? Well, each of the three kinds of degrees has a base model, like a car. There's an engine, tires, and seats. And once you have that base model, you can start adding extra features and start customizing it just for you. So Kathy's going to tell us more about how modules and degrees come together. For a three-year degree, you need to take 
first year and then either made one major or two minor modules. That's the base model for a three-year degree. You'll take enough options to flesh your degree out to 15 credits. So let's do the math. If you need five courses for first year and six courses for your major, then you'll need four option courses. Rather than take option courses, you could add a minor, adding on to that base model. And this is totally a personal choice. For a four-year degree, you complete either a specialization or a major as the base model of that degree. To reach 20 credits, you'll take a bunch of option courses, or you can, if you wish, add another major or a minor. Again, this is a personal choice. You're not required to complete any more modules than the base model of your degree requires. If you want to complete an honors degree, then you'll take either an honors specialization module or you'll take two majors. You can complete a major or a minor in addition to the honors specialization module, but this would take away most, if not all, of your option courses. You may have noticed that a major can be done in each of the three kinds of degrees. The courses that you need for the major are always the same. The type of degree you pursue doesn't change the courses in the major. If you want to graduate with an honors degree, you just need higher marks in the courses contained in each of the two majors. And Kathy, my head still spins when I hear all of this, and it's my job to understand it. So again, just keep in mind as we go along that you can post questions in the chat. We'll gather these questions and answer as many as we can during the live Q&A. So we've got degrees and modules, but you're going to graduate with an honor specialization in something, or a major in this, a major in that. So how do you make it your degree? The Faculty of Science and the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry are the homes of the departments that you see listed here. And it's these departments that decide which modules they want to offer, what courses and what marks you need to get into their modules, and then the specific group of courses that define their modules. So let's just say that you decide you want to study chemistry at Western. Okay, so you want to study a lot of chemistry. Then you might complete an honors specialization in chemistry. If you want to study some chemistry and some computer science, then you could do a major in each of these areas. Now taking a module offered by science results in your degree becoming a Bachelor of Science or a BSc degree. As you see here, we have a three-year BSc, a four-year BSc, and an honors BSc, each with modules that drive the degree to become a BSc degree. Now let's take a look at the medical sciences side. A major or a minor from the medical sciences can be done in a BSc. When you choose modules though that require predominantly medical science courses in year three and four, your degree becomes a Bachelor of Medical Sciences or BMSc degree. The BMSc degrees are 20 credit degrees only and that's why this slide doesn't show a three-year BMSc. The four-year BMSc degree is made up of either a specialization or two majors. This is a bit different from the base model that we saw earlier for a four-year degree in which you complete only a major. The BMSc degree requires double majors, both of which come from the medical sciences. If you want to complete an honors BMSc degree, then you'll take either an honors specialization or double majors, keeping in mind that both majors will come from the basic medical sciences. So basically, the departments are the keeper of the keys as they determine what modules are offered and what courses you need. So then the question is, well, where do you find information about the modules? Kathy's going to answer this question in a minute, but before we get there, first, let me answer our most common question. I want to get into medicine. What's the best degree for me? And in all honesty, there isn't a right or wrong degree. And I know that's not the answer that you were hoping for, but our best advice is this. Choose something that you're passionate about and go after it. Because really, whatever you choose to study and pursue is what you are immersing yourself in for the next three to four years. And that's a long time to be doing something that you don't truly enjoy. To find all the modules that are offered, you can look at Western's academic calendar. In the purple bar across the top, you'll see that you could look under faculties, but you might not know what's in a faculty. You could look under departments, but you might not know what's in a department, or you could look at 
modules and programs. And we'd recommend that that's where you start looking just to get a feel for what Western offers. You'll find an alphabetical listing of all the modules. This is just a little snippet of them. You'll see the faculty that offers the module and the department within that faculty that offers the module and whether that module is offered as an honors specialization or whether it might be offered as an honors specialization, major, minor, etc. If you click on one of the modules, such as biology, the honors specialization, you'll see what we call the admission requirements, the courses that you need and the marks you need in those courses in first year to get admitted to the module. You then see the courses listed to complete the module. Now, the honors specialization from before, it said it was nine courses. Biology has decided that to get that deeper understanding that warrants an honors specialization, you'll need to take 10 courses. If you were to click in on any of these individual courses, you'll get a brief description of what you'll study in that course. And reviewing the course descriptions will give you the flavor of a module at Western. We recommend that you do this for any module that you're pursuing, much like looking at the ingredients for a recipe on Pinterest. The courses that you're going to take in a module give you an idea of what that flavor of the module is. Let's take a look at one of the honors specialization modules offered by the medical sciences. The honors specialization in biochemistry leads to graduation with a BMSc degree. The admission requirements for this module specify that both 1000 level courses and 2000 level courses or second year courses are needed to get into this module. This is another different thing about the modules within BMSC. You don't get ad admitted to them until year three when you're finally admitted to the BMSC program. The courses for the module are listed over here and these courses that were part of the admission requirements are also part of the overall module. So now you have an understanding of the different degrees offered, what a module is, and how it plays into your time at Western, and you've been given the tools to know where to find further information. Plus, as an added bonus, we've answered the number one question, referenced Pinterest, and base models for cars. So let's take a step back now and look at the paths available. Going back to our initial question, what do I apply to, science or medical sciences? This flowchart is going to help us explain it. If you want to study a module offered by science, then apply to science, ES, on the OUAC application. In first year, you'll take the courses that you need to get into the module you want in second year, and then you'll do another year or two of courses until you're ready to graduate with a three-year BSc, a four-year BSc, or a four-year honors BSc. If the modules that lead to BMSc degrees interest you, then you should apply to Medical Sciences, ESM, on the OUAC application. If you're admitted to Medical Sciences 1, then you're guaranteed a spot in Year 3 BMSc, as long as you take the right courses in Medical Sciences 1 and Medical Sciences 2, satisfy certain conditions, such as carrying a full load of courses, and getting an average of at least 80% on those 2,000 level courses in the admission requirements, and not failing any courses along the way. Let's pause here for a minute just to emphasize this point. The only road that leads to guaranteed admission into the BMSC program is through Medical Sciences 1. Now what if you come to Western for Science and realize that you want to study Medical Sciences instead? What then? We get this question a lot. If you're admitted to Science, then you're not promised a spot in Year 3 BMSC. You can, however, take the same courses as your friend in medical sciences during year one and year two. And after all of the students in MedSci2 who satisfy their conditions for assured admission have been accepted, you'll be considered for admission from what we call the competitive pool. If there's still spaces in the program and you satisfy certain conditions, such as an average of at least 75% in the group of second year courses in the admission requirements, then you'll be admitted to year three BMSC. So if you're applying from the competitive pool, it's a numbers game. And as we wrap up with some info about averages for admission to first year science and medical sciences, I want you to keep the following in mind. So far, year three BMSC has never filled up with MedSci 2 students who satisfied their conditions for admission. Now this could change in any given year as it all depends on the number of students applying. But to date, 
there has been enough space to admit students from the competitive pool. Offers of admission to science and medical sciences start going out as early as December. These early offers are based primarily on your marks in your grade 11 courses and a highish average on these courses is needed to get an early offer. But as the year progresses, the focus shifts to the marks in your grade 12 courses. For the last round of offers of admission that goes out in May, the average for admission is calculated only on six of your grade 12 U and M courses. For the uh, offers of admission to science in May, and again, these are the final round of offers of admission, students have typically needed an average in the mid 80s on the following six courses, grade 12 U Calculus, English, the best two of these science courses, and if you have more than six grade 12 U's and M's, then we'll take the best two grade 12 U's and M's left over. Now this is not a mid 80 mark in each of these courses, it's an average on these six courses. To get an offer of admission to medical sciences during the last round of offers in May, assuming you haven't already received an offer, the average is usually in the low 90s for those final offers in May. This average in the low 90s is again calculated just on six grade 12 U and M courses, and those will be specifically calculus, English, biology, and chemistry. And again, if you have more than six grade 12 U's and M's, it'll be the best two grade 12 U and M courses that you have. The average of admission has been as high as 92% for the final offers of admission in May, meaning that it was higher during the December round of offers and came down to 92% for the final round. So there are a few important things to keep in mind when applying for admission. Number one, you must apply for a program to be considered for admission. Western does not give alternative offers of admission, so if you apply for medical sciences and do not have a high enough average, you will not receive an offer to science. Now with number one in mind, or number two, is you can apply to more than one program at Western. You can apply to both medical sciences and science on your OUAC application. And if you have the average required for admission to both science and medical sciences, then you will receive an offer of admission to both. Applying to one doesn't impact your application to the other in any way. So if you're projecting that your average would be in the mid 90s, then you can apply to medical sciences only. But if, however, you are concerned that you might not get an offer of admission to medical sciences, then we would strongly encourage you to consider applying to science as well. So now you've applied to both and have offers from both. And that leads us into number three, which is, if you receive offers to both science and medical sciences, accept the offer to medical sciences. And this way you are promised admission into year three BMSC remembering that you have to keep up your end of the bargain, take the right courses and get the minimum marks, but then you'll have that in your back pocket. Now this was a lot of information to digest and trust me, I know how you feel trying to remember it all. It can be very overwhelming. So we've been recording your questions and we'll answer as many of them as we can during the Q&A session, which is coming up next. And remember, if you visit our site in about a week, a recording of this presentation, along with the questions and answers, will be there on our Fall Preview Day webpage. So thank you again for taking the time to visit us, and we wish you much success in your future studies.